This is my home-built teletext inserter. It uses a Raspberry Pi connected to a VBIT Pi board to add a teletext data stream to pretty much any video signal. Two other Raspberry Pis used as servers provide the inserter with a data stream. It can switch between them and an internally generated page so that if either of them stop working, there's still a teletext service going out. Apart from the VBIT Pi, it uses off-the-shelf components that can easily be found on eBay or Farnell. When the system first gets switched on, it's programmed to run the VBIT Pi software as early as possible, as there's no bypass relay, so no video can be passed through until the board has been initialized. This means that often the network isn't up before the system starts looking for package servers, so the first thing it shows is its built-in emergency page. A few seconds later, it connects to the primary server and we get a teletext service. This one is a replica of the old CFAX service with pages automatically generated from the BBC and other sources. If I turn off the primary server, or for some reason it fails, the inserter will automatically switch over to the backup server. It switches fairly seamlessly. The only thing normal users will notice is the occasional jitter on the header clock. In this case, the backup server is running a different header for Clarity. If for some reason neither server is available, the system reverts to the emergency self-generated page. It continues to check if either server has come back up in the meantime, and will switch back to them as soon as one becomes available. The chips on the VBIT Pi are capable of more than just teletext. Here I can use it to adjust the video's contrast, brightness, saturation, and hue. Here I demonstrate its widescreen signalling capability. The TV automatically switches aspect ratios at the touch of a button from the system's online control panel. The board is also technically capable of closed captioning, but I've never tried that. I built the whole system in a rack mount case because it seemed about the right size and I wanted it to look like a real piece of broadcasting equipment. It's a plastic case, so it was fairly easy to drill holes for all the lights and switches, and I think it looks pretty good. If you'd like to read more about my inserter, or find out about the VBIT Pi used in it, feel free to visit my website. It has more details, as well as pictures and links to the software used. Link is on screen and in the video description.